I'd probably go for a quick test run on the other bumper. I'm just going to do a test run on it. Oh. Alright, go for oh, a no, it's just going there, boys. It's got it cooling. Oh, it's stinking. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, no, she's getting a bit red. Cool down. We've got a fire. Ah. Hmm. Ah. So. Well, longer piece of wire. I think, yeah. Remember, I'm going in on main cut. <laughs> this is precision bodywork. Exactly how the professionals would do the job. I think yeah. I have to do a few more amps, Chris. Do a few more amps? Stick her up to medium. How many amps are we actually pulling through it? Uh, ten. Oh, she's fucking cussing now. Just keep an eye on it, make sure she doesn't start glowing. Yeah, I'm watching it. Stand by for separation. No, shut it down. All right, day God knows what of the uh, repaint. So we've done the second paint job now. Um, in general, happier with it. Um, I put the paint on a lot, lot heavier this time with a much bigger nozzle in the gun. Uh, that was definitely the problem the first time. Um, so much so that I did manage to get a couple runs, sadly, on the car, um, which, to be honest with you, I kind of expected. Um, so as you can see, I've just basically sanded the very small areas where I, I had a run there. That was, well, hardly a run, that was just a small droop, really. There was a slight droop there, and I did have a run in the back there, and very similar places on the other side, actually. It's just lack of experience, I guess, and running on the edges. Um, now, I'm going to just try buffing it. Um, the, the actual overall finish is, well, a lot better than it was the last time. Um, you can see... So, well, you can you can see in the in the thing that there's, there's a huge amount of orange peel in it, um, but I'm going to just try buffing it first and see what happens. Um, if it looks respectable, I'm tempted to just leave it like that. Um, at the end of the day, it's you know it's painted in a shed. I'm not trying to make it look like a show car. Um, the, the main concern is the engine, really. Uh, and I don't. If I can avoid it, I'm trying to basically avoid sanding the whole car again. Just because last time I did that, I just ended up with loads of deep marks that just I could never get out, and I just it looked awful. So if we can avoid sanding the whole vehicle, we will. That's why I tried to keep the the areas very very minimal where I had runs. But it may turn out to look awful with just a buff. Um, so I may have to. I mean, last time I sanded it, and to be fair, it did come up like a mirror, but there was just some deep scratches from the very original sanding that I just, I couldn't seem to get rid of. I think, really, it was... I went in with too heavy a sandpaper, and I didn't use a sanding block, and I think the sort of shape of my hand put some deep scores, and I think if you did it properly with a sanding block, it wouldn't be as bad, but I'm still trying to avoid that if we can. Right, been around the whole car now. Um, three stages of buffing, so starting with a 3M fast cut, and up to a, uh, I think it's like a super fine, and then up to the ultra fine using the 3M pads. Um, I'm fairly happy with the finish. Um, I've decided I'm not going to do any wet sanding. There is orange peel in the finish. Um, you can probably see it, quite obviously, but let's be honest, it's not really going to matter. So our next step is to take all the masking and crap off the car, um, and I'll probably put it on some wheels so I can roll it outside, because... This car's been parked over my pit for, like, way too long and um, I'm having to do everything else outside, straight in the doorway. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a car again now. Um, taking all the masks and crap off. Been a bit careful around the edges just in case the paint's still a bit damp, but it seems to be alright. Um, I'm just going to go around the door shuts with a wet cloth now and just try and clean some of the uh, cutting compound off because it's just, like, everywhere. And then I might put the wheels on and drag it outside. Right, so the windows are in, door seals are in, all the mask is off. It's actually starting to look a bit like a car again. Now it's freaking useless with this camera because you can't see anything. But um, yeah, it's a car again. So next plan is to uh, put the wheels on and get it outside so I can get my pit back. Okay, so we've got some more bits here to paint. Um, front grille, the two roof strips, hockey sticks, um, a back bumper and a front bumper. The front bumper is, is a brand new plastic mould. 
the back bumper sadly is pretty shagged but it's the only one I've got to hand so I'm going to paint it maybe change it one day it's just a bumper so it can be unbolted uh, so I've got them all sanded, wet sanded, cleaned, degreased um, so I'll mix up some paint now and then just uh, shoot some uh, shoot some paint and uh, got the drag week on in the background which is what you can hear right we've painted those pieces now um, see the front bumper's there looks looks fairly shiny there's there's orange peel into it but you know like everything then we've got like the front grille and the back bumper so that literally leaves the bonnet after the the initial fail with lack of sanding um that it's getting put off just because I need to sand all that back off which is a bit of a farce <laughs> so that's the last thing to do right okay we're outside pretty much fully assembled again um, basically just got the bonnet to paint and fit uh, and a few other small bits and pieces to finish up like the side indicators and the just little bits and pieces really um, but the main part of the car is now reassembled um, obviously it's super high in the front because there's no engine in it um, so it's rather rather sort of drag spec but in reverse <clears throat> got the front end on not too sure what's going to happen with that yet um, it looks a bit lost at the moment but then to be fair it looks a bit lost before without all the intercooler and a win and um, I don't really want to run the angel eyes that I used to use so I'm hoping to be able to use the standard lights but they do look a bit lost against the green so I'm not too sure what's going to happen there yet but we'll get the bonnet on uh, and go from there that's the uh, mirror caps and the uh, roof gutters and also the, the fuel caps painted and fitted right as you can see I've just sanded down the bonnet again uh, made a bit of a fail with this one if you haven't watched previous videos we I say we, I uh, bought a brand new bonnet from Peugeot uh, which came in primer um, but I made the rookie mistake being a non-painting expert I am uh, of painting well basically it came in primer so I assumed oh that would be alright I'll just paint the uh, you know the, the base coat right on top um, and I made the mistake of not sanding down the primer uh, beforehand um, I did on the rest of the car so I don't really know why I didn't on the bonnet I just sort of thought oh it's brand new we'll paint it well that was a mistake uh, as you see the paint peeled off it um, during the buffing um, well it wasn't actually while I was buffing I actually taped across the bonnet and when I peeled the tape off it took the paint off so obviously it didn't adhere to the uh, the primer because I hadn't obviously the, the, the primer was completely gone off and cured so there was obviously no chemical adhesion um, so I should have sanded it but I didn't so even though the rest of the car is painted I've just obviously brought the bonnet back down uh, well back down to flat obviously some areas have still got the original primer on um, they're obviously roughed up now and there is some areas that have obviously gone back to bare metal where I've really struggled to get some of the paint did actually stick quite well um, other places didn't more luck I think than anything um, anyway I've got it back smooth now so I've just sort of cleared this off wiped it down um, and then I will degrease it and obviously I have to go over the cement primer now because we've got some bare metal to deal with um, and then I'll probably go over the bonnet again with primer and then back on with the 2k base coat and hopefully we can get it looking something like the rest of the car again right I've just um, gone over it with some etch primer on the bare metal bits um, you're supposed to cover the bare metal with that I believe to get better adhesion and you're not supposed to paint straight onto the bare metal so I think I'll leave it as that and I might put a coat of high build on top or I may go straight on with the paint I haven't decided yet just shot the uh, paint on the bonnet there now, that's the base coat on so I'll let that go off for a week now 